Uh, look sir, LUX40914, uh, dead, no standby light, um, it's a Vestel construction, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reposition the unit and uh, just check a few voltages on the power supply, um, I'll pause the camera when I'm taking the back off. Here's a shot of the rear of the uh, unit. It is of uh, Vestal construction. Uh, the main board and power supply. Um, I'll just get you a shot of the uh, the main board. The main board is uh, type 17MB65-S2. As you can see here, if I can focus. And the power supply is type 17PW26-5. I'm going to start doing uh, voltage checks of this power supply first. Um, as I get no standby light or anything from this main from the main board itself. So uh, the power supply would be a good place to start. This uh, pin out of the main connector from the power supply to the signal board and uh, I'm going to check these voltages and the main ones I'm concerned about now at the moment is I'm going to just uh, try this standby uh, pin, pin 6 and uh, as you can see it's 2, 4, 6 so it's the third one from the end I have got about 0.6 of a volt there. The next one I'm going for is pin 12. Twelve. And I've only got 0.6 of a volt there as well. That should be 12 volts. And next one is 14. That's actually at 5 volts. That's okay. And pin 16 is at 3.3 volts. That's there as well. And uh, 18, 20, and 20 should be 3.3 volts, but it's missing. And let me just come across here. Uh, pin 24, the 24 volts is missing from pin 24 as well. I'm going to go over here to 17, eight, uh, 17 19 and 21. Mm. That should be 5 volts, that's missing as well. So we have a lot of voltages missing. I'm not too sure about the standby, what I should have on the standby uh, line. I've connected 5 volts to the standby line just to bring it high and see when that switch on my 12 volts. Um, That, the, that pin now is at 5 volts and there's no change to my uh, 12 volt supply on pin 12. Just remove that. So what I've got to go do now is dig a little bit deeper. I'm going to, have to take this power supply off and uh, work f with it uh, on the bench out of the unit. This is the output of the uh, uh, chopper power supply. We have a 24 volt uh, supply which is missing, 34, 30 volt which is missing, and here's our 12 volt. This here is missing as well. I'm going to find this uh, this diode pack here. It's 
given the circuit reference number Q827, Q normally stands for transistor, um, but this is a diode pack. Q827 um, is located here. It looks like a transistor, but it is a diode. Um, you can see the line here. Anything this side of this line is the cold side of the power supply. Anything that side is the hot side. That is connected directly to the mains. It's not isolated with the transformers. However, I have my mains lead here. Um, this mains lead is connected to an isolation transformer for safety. I'm just going to check on that transistor. Q827, see if I got any voltage. And the capacitor here, I can safely read it across that. And I'm reading zero volts at that point. Right. I'm just going to plug out. I'll just do a short test for diode. I'm going to just check for shorts. 0.1 of a volt. And there's no short across that supply. Just going to check my diode. One of a volt drop, that's good. Okay, no short on the uh, uh, Q827. Um, I'm going to check this diode here. And that's giving me a dead short. Turn over the board. Let's see. Yeah. Let's check him out of circuit now. Yeah, he is dead short. I got a replacement uh, diode for um, D893, I think. That's what the marking on the PCB is. Um, it's rated at 3 amps, uh, 50 volt, and the uh, switching time would be about 50 nanoseconds. Make sure you put one in with the right switch in time, otherwise it won't work. A bridge rectifier diode wouldn't work in this position. It'd be too slow for the switch mode power supply. And make sure you orientate the anode towards the transformer and the marking for the cathode this side. Now let's check for voltage on the secondary side of our power supply. Ok, 
Okay, that's looking good. We have 24 volts coming out of that diode. And we have our 12 volts as well. All that remains for me to do is to put this PCB back in the unit to see is the uh, signal board up and working and the screen uh, all okay. Power supply is uh, screwed back into the uh, unit and all the con connectors have been connected up and uh, I'm ready to plug it in. See what happens. Standby light is flashing. I'm going to take it out of standby now. And there we go. the power supply up and working. I'm just going to take a measurement now of that diode that we replaced and it's reading 24 volts and the circuit reference number it's showing um, is D893 or it could be D881 the two uh, numbers are marked on the PCB beside that diode. According to the circuit diagram D881 is for the 34 supply which is not quite working out um, but I don't see a D893 anywhere in the circuit diagram um, it's probably a, a different version that is that is the 24 volt supply I would imagine for the, um, the screen um, let me see, make sure we got our connect the voltage on our connections now. And we were missing the 12 volts on pin 12. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. And we have our 11.8 volts, nearly 12 volts now on that supply. I'm going to put in the standby. And see the stack voltage go. The voltage does switch off in standby. Hope that's of some help to someone out there. Um, thanks for watching.